It's hard to imagine that such a small thing, like an egg, could cause so much controversy. Decades ago, experts told the public to up their egg consumption. Then, suddenly, eggs were dangerous to your health. But now? Well, doctors and nutritionists say that eggs are back on the menu. So, does that mean that they could be healthy for diabetics, and do they balance blood sugar? Don't assume anything yet. In fact, don't eat another egg until you've watched this video. We'll share the worst effects of eggs for diabetics, sometimes deadly, and reveal which eggs to really avoid. We'll also reveal a shocking health fact that might change how you view fat and cholesterol forever. Before we jump in, can you do us a favor and like this video? Ring the bell for future notifications and make sure you subscribe to Diabetes Smarts for more help battling diabetes. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get two free gifts. But now, let's discover the top three worst egg attributes for diabetics. Number three, past studies have linked high egg consumption with diabetes. A 2009 study called Egg Consumption and Risk of Type 2 Diabetes in Men and Women followed men for 20 years and women for 11 years, using data from two randomized trials. So, what did they find? Out of approximately 21,000 men and 36,000 women, roughly 2,000 men and 2,000 women who normally consumed eggs eventually became type 2 diabetic. So, according to this study, the data suggests that high levels of egg consumption may raise the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and heart disease for both men and women. Number 2. Animal products promote cancer. We keep hearing that we should avoid red meat or eat it infrequently. When we eat animal protein, like eggs, the body produces higher levels of the hormone growth factor 1, aka IGF-1. That, in turn, stimulates cell division and growth in both healthy and cancer cells. And that's why higher levels of IGF-1 are associated with an increased cancer risk. Several studies have found a link with prostate cancer, including a prospective study published in Cancer Prevention Research. They followed healthy men split into two groups. One group consumed at least two and a half eggs per week. The other group consumed less than half an egg per week. The first group who ate more eggs had an 81% increased risk of lethal prostate cancer. Additionally, the British Journal of Nutrition published a meta-analysis in 2015 that looked at egg intake and different cancers. It found raised risk for prostate, breast, and ovarian cancers in people who ate five or more eggs a week. Number 1. Eggs increase heart issues and death risk. Joel Furman, MD, reports in his book, The End of Diabetes, that more than an egg a day doubles the risk of cardiovascular disease. It could actually be worse than that. Some studies have suggested that more than one egg a day doubles your risk of not only cardiovascular disease, but also the risk of death for diabetics. And a Greek study of diabetics documented a five-fold increase in death risk when diabetics ate more than an egg a day. Based on this data, Dr. Furman recommends getting all your protein from plant-based foods and avoiding eggs altogether. So that's the top three worst effects of eggs for diabetics. And it may be enough to scare you away from eggs for good. But notice these bad effects come from eating more than one egg per day. Like many foods, moderation is key. And here's another consideration. Eggs were villainized for decades. So, could these studies possibly be slanted to support the trendy conclusion at the time? We're about to take a closer look at the health benefits of eggs. But first, are you ready for two free gifts? Discover a world of positive nutrition within our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics. And get exclusive insights from some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching episode one of that diabetes documentary. Grab both gifts just by clicking the link in the description below. And now, it's time to check out the health benefits of eggs. And here's where you'll find a few surprises. The top five benefits of eggs for diabetics. A boiled egg is an easy, quick snack. It's even low fat and has a low glycemic index. It also falls into a whole food and paleo diet. 
And while it's an animal product, it's not red meat. And you don't have to harm an animal to harvest eggs. Sounds like a win-win, right? Soon, we'll see why we may have been wrong about eggs and cholesterol all these years. Starting with the number five benefit of eggs. Number five, eggs are a complete protein. Humans need nine essential amino acids, labeled essential because we can't make them. We have to consume them. A complete or whole protein contains an adequate proportion of these nine essential amino acids. Eggs aren't just a complete protein, they even have the exact proportions of each amino acid we need. Reader's Digest Diabetes Quick Fix with Magic Foods calls eggs the gold standard that experts use to measure all proteins. You don't need to eat many eggs at all to get what you need nutritionally, which is important to understand as we've already discussed the risk for different diseases if you consume more than one egg a day. In fact, studies have shown that you can replace a steak with a boiled egg and get more nutrition with less detrimental effects to your health. Number four, eggs have needed nutrients. Eggs average 70 calories and six grams of protein, and they're loaded with a host of healthy nutrients. Lutein and zeaxanthin help your eyes. Choline helps your brain and nerves. And vitamins A, B, and D help with a variety of processes. We get vitamin D from sunlight, but if you live in a rainy or cold climate, this might make it difficult to get all your needed vitamin D simply from the sun. Plus, you've probably noticed that we're all inside much more than we used to be, for various reasons. Why is vitamin D so important? Well, for one, scientists are finding now that people coming down with COVID-19 are low in vitamin D. But this vitamin is also essential to the health of our bones, teeth, and muscles. Number three, eggs have little saturated fat. And here's what's shocking about that. Eggs are filling and very versatile in cooking. So if you love eggs, it can be hard to give them up. But what if you're watching your cholesterol? That's even more important as a diabetic. But there's some good news. Actually, this is shocking. Dr. Anthony Komaroff examined eggs in his 2019 article, Are Eggs Risky for Your Heart? on Harvard Health Publishing. It turns out that Dr. Komaroff changed his mind about the cholesterol in eggs. Why? As he explained, research has been showing more and more that our cholesterol doesn't come from our diet. It comes from our liver. In fact, saturated and trans fats stimulate the liver to make cholesterol. So, while we'd spent years blaming the cholesterol in our food, perhaps we were the problem. More specifically, the bad fats, or LDL cholesterol, which is found in saturated fat, might actually be the true problem. So what about the bad fat in a large egg? It only has 1.5 grams of saturated fat. Dr. Komaroff wrote, the evidence that cholesterol in one egg a day is safe for most people comes from huge studies many conducted here at Harvard Medical School that have followed hundreds of thousands of people over decades. It is those studies that do not find higher rates of heart attacks, strokes, or other cardiovascular diseases in people who eat up to one egg per day. So, if we were wrong about the cholesterol in eggs, were we wrong that eggs can hurt your heart and arteries? This brings us to number two. Eggs may help your heart. We've already looked at studies where people ate more than an egg a day, so it's good to examine what happens when people eat just an egg a day or less. A 2018 study followed the eating habits of 416,000 people for nine years. The participants had an average age of 50, but didn't suffer from diabetes or heart disease. People who ate eggs on a regular basis had a lower risk of death from stroke and heart disease than people who didn't eat eggs at all. Of course, this seems to go against those previous studies. The point we should pay the most attention to is this. People who ate an average of just one egg a day had a 28% lower risk of death from stroke. That's almost a third lower. And they had an 18% lower risk of death from heart disease. So how is this possible? This study concluded it might be thanks to the folate and omega-3 fatty acids in eggs. Folate, or vitamin B9, 
is amazingly beneficial, helping our bodies produce red blood cells. It's also been shown to be essential for pregnant women, as it helps reduce the risk of certain birth defects. Omega-3 fatty acids are known as the good type of fat, as they can actually help lower blood pressure and reduce heart disease risk. Number 1. Eggs Balance Blood Sugar Now we've seen the bad and the good about eggs. A huge point for diabetics is that eggs' glycemic index is zero. The protein in eggs satisfies your hunger, and eating eggs doesn't raise your blood sugar. In fact, it's been proven that pairing a protein-rich food with any carbs you consume in a meal will help your body avoid a possible blood sugar spike from those carbs. Therefore, eggs can actually be a great tool for maintaining blood sugar balance, as long as you don't go overboard. So, what's the verdict? We saw a list of studies that proved eating more than an egg a day can cause severe heart problems for diabetics. But now we can see that there are also many benefits to eating eggs in moderation. Plus, what we thought about the cholesterol in eggs is being proven to be incorrect by modern science. So, in the end, you probably should do your best to avoid consuming multiple eggs in a week, and most likely not more than one egg a day. Dr. Komarov agrees, concluding, No more than three eggs per week is wise if you have diabetes, are at high risk for heart disease from other causes, such as smoking, or already have heart disease. But hold on just a sec, let's back up. Because how you eat your eggs is super important. An egg fried in bacon grease is a completely different meal than a hard-boiled or poached egg. So that means you should think about what you eat your eggs with as well. One egg is healthy, but not with bacon, sausage, lots of cheese, white bread, or lots of butter. Instead, try a scrambled egg with homemade salsa, or with tomato and avocado. Now, one last but very important point. Eggs are not all created equal. On top of the health controversy over eggs, people disagree about the nutrition of cage-free eggs versus typical store-bought eggs. When you go to the store, you'll notice that you have some options. From cage-free, to free-range, and even to pasture-raised. But what do these labels actually mean for you? And how does that affect egg quality? Cage-free is defined as chickens freely roam a building, room, or enclosed area with unlimited access to food and fresh water during their production cycle, but do not have access to the outdoors. Free range means the hens have access to the outdoors, but this doesn't guarantee that the hens actually get to go outdoors. The farmer isn't required to open the door a certain amount of time, and the outdoor space might be a small, fenced-in area too. The term pasture-raised isn't regulated by the USDA, but farmers might get other certifications, such as Certified Humane or Animal Welfare Approved. These terms are related to how the hens are treated, and for consumers like us, that translates into egg quality. What affects the egg's quality is in the hen's diet, and hens with more room tend to have a more varied diet. Farm eggs are known to have a brighter orange color and much higher omega-3 fatty acids, which fight inflammation. Additionally, a hen kept in a small cage is often overweight and even given antibiotics and growth hormones. According to Hobby Farms, studies show several advantages to farm fresh eggs, including lower cholesterol, less bad fat, more vitamins, and more good fats. So do your best, despite the additional cost, to purchase the healthiest types of eggs you can afford. This may mean foregoing the cage-free packages in favor of certain pasture-raised varieties. Well, there you have it. That's the lowdown on eggs. We hope this information will help your health without, um, scrambling your brain. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. We're Diabetes Smarts, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight obesity and diabetes. Oh, don't forget, claim both of your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We hope you are having a diabetes fighting day.